What up, PB Cashville? It's your boy Cashew, and today we're going to be talking about Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. Hit it. PB Cashbill, it's your boy Cashew, and like I said, today we're going to be talking about Nick Tude's Attack of the Toy Bots. We're still in the series. We have one more game after that, which is called SpongeBob, featuring Nick Tune Glob Gloobs of Doom, I think, or something like that. And I do have a Jimmy Neutron shirt. Yep. Like I said, I have different shirts for this these episodes. So for the first episode was Danny Phantom. The last episode was the Fair Appearance. This episode, Jimmy Neutron. Next episode for next week is going to be spongebob uh i also want to give you a couple updates pb's in japan pb i hope you're having a great time in japan if you're watching this how you guys doing hope you guys are doing good and i just want to say i've just been tired lately been working a lot so nothing really new in my life but let's get right into it so i ain't gonna lie to you guys i played this game a long time ago and like i said in the other episodes i had to go back and look at some gameplay Try to refresh my memory of what this game is about. And there's a couple things I remember uh, when I was doing, look, watching through gameplay. So basically, first of all, let's start off. They don't have Sandy Cheeks is not in this game. And then if you see, there's a couple new characters. Tack, he's a new character that's in this game. Uh, SpongeBob is still the same character. Patrick, Jimmy, Danny. They don't have, for some reason, they don't have Timmy Turner. In the cover art, which is kind of weird, they do have his his evil little robot, his toy robot right there. So, you have a couple new characters. Um, so, let me see. So, the playable characters are Danny Phantom, SpongeBob SquarePants, Jimmy Neutron's back, Patrick Starr, you got, like I said, you got a new character name, Tack. Um, actually, what's interesting about Tack was that this is the first time I've ever seen him. Like, I've heard about his show, but I never saw his show. But when I played Nicktoons, Attack of the Toy Bots, and he was in it, when I saw him, he was in it, and I liked the character, I said, you know what, let me see how the show. And the show was pretty good. Um, I never played the game. They do have games. It's called Tack and, Tack and the Power of the Juju, I think. And they, they, don't, they have a game for him. Never played it, but I saw gameplay of that. Sam is back. Then you have other characters. Uh, Stimpy. From Ren and Stimpy. Rocco. Jenny from My Life as a Teenage Robot. I want to say Gur. So there's one playable character, but he's in the DS version. That's Zim. Then I think you have a character named Mr. Blink, Blick, and then El Tigre. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I got all the characters right that are playable. Um, that's the ones I'm trying to remember off my head. So they added a couple more characters in this game. Um, so basically, the story of this game is Professor Calamitous, if you guys remember for Nick Tuesday Night, he's back. And so he's in a game show. And in this game show, he's trying to prove that he is the number one bad like the biggest villain and he's the smartest guy remember in, in uh nicktoons battle for mikhail island there was this villain named the great mongu they show him in this intro so professor calamitous found out that if you give krabby patties to fairies and also have energy from the ghost portal that that will help power up his evil toy robots that's right professor calamitous has this is making toy robots or making toys that are evil. So in the beginning of the game, there's SpongeBob and Patrick. SpongeBob and Patrick delivers Krabby Patties to these to this random toy factory that they didn't even know about. They made like almost three thousand. They made a whole bunch of Krabby Patties, and so what happened was the robots in this company was taking uh, was taking away the Krabby Patties, and SpongeBob didn't like it. And Patrick was basically saying, 
you got to get back those Krabby Patties. He got stuck into the machine. And next thing you know, SpongeBob had to find a way to get inside to the toy factory. Well, when you're in the toy factory, you find um, Tack. And Tack explains to you what's going on. So I forgot to mention this. What Professor Calamitous was doing is he goes to different dimensions. And each of these different dimensions, he gets all the heroes. So I'll give you a good example. Jimmy Neutron. He basically kidnapped Jimmy Neutron and cloned him to be a, a toy, like a robot. Um, so then what happens is you're in a toy factory. You find out that some of your friends are there. So you, the first person you actually find and you actually save is Jimmy Neutron. And then there's this thing, I think it's called Chatbot, I think his name is. It's Professor Calamitous Henchman, like his henchman. I know this sounds confusing, but I'm just giving you a little bit, breaking down a little bit about it. And Chabot is the one that explains to you how to stop Professor Calamitous and what Professor Calamitous is doing. And so then when you meet Chabot, you have to find a way to contact Danny Phantom because Danny knows a lot about, he knows a lot about the ghost zone and the ghost portal. So you have to do that. Chabot gives you an assignment. And this is where I think this game gets interesting. All right. So one thing I like about Nicktoons Attack of the po Toy Bots, you know, and I, you know, like I said, when I was watching the, watching the gameplay, I kind of remember, by the way, the person who did the gameplay, I'm going to have their name right there. You know, I could not take full credit because I had to watch gameplay. Uh, but I think I remember a lot about was like, so there's this thing called Master Models. And what the master models are is like you collect them. Those are other heroes from different universes. So I'll give you a good example. Aang from Avatar Last Airbender. There's a master model of him. And so basically the Chabot wanted the master model so he can have a collection of it. So that means Aang was captured. So every time when you get a master model, that means those, those characters were captured, but they're not playable characters. They were captured by Professor Calamitous. So, what happened is, um, I lied. The first person you actually save is Timmy, by the way. My bad. So, one thing I did like about the game is that, um, in every level, there's different factory levels and factory zones. But what I liked about it is, like, it tells you what characters you need to get a master model, like, to get a model. So, I'll give you a good example. You go to the menu board. You go to that zone. If it says you need... Danny, Danny Phantom, and Jenny, you need to play as those two characters. And that's another thing I did, too. I think I did, like, a lot, too. It's, like, they had new characters. Obviously, Danny Phantom's my favorite. He's always going to be my favorite. But I love playing as Danny. When Jenny was in the game, I liked playing as her. Sam was pretty good. I don't know why didn't they have Sandy in the game. It was kind of crazy to me that they didn't bring her back, but they didn't. Um... But, yeah, like I said, I don't remember so much about it. I do remember playing this with my brother, like I said... All the Nicktoon games, I played with my brother. I remember that. And I remember us having a good time playing these games. Um, I wish I knew a lot more about these games, honestly, because it would have been so much better. Um, but like I said, I can't tell you fully how. All I can tell you right now is that the things I can remember. And the one thing I do remember is, like like I always say, when me and my brother used to play, we used to argue about which character we want to be. And my least favorite character in this game I know who it was. My least favorite character in this game, I think, was if I was I was thinking it was Gur. I wasn't really a huge fan of Gur. I don't know what it was. It was just wasn't a fan of Gur. I remember playing a lot as, like I said, Danny and Sam and Jenny. Rocco, I remember playing as Rocco a little bit, not that much. Um, Stimpy, don't really use, don't really play as him. I wasn't really a, a huge Ren and Stimpy fan, honestly. If I want to be honest with you, and who else? El Tigre, I don't even remember playing. Maybe I might have played as him before. But I don't remember at all about that. I'm not going to lie about that. Patrick, obviously, I played as. You know, I basically play as almost everybody. You know, and like I said, this, you know, these games are fun. If I could go back, if I had a PlayStation 2, and if I could go back and play these games, I would. And if I could go back and tell you about these games again, I would do that. But like I said, my PlayStation 2 is messed up. I will get that fixed. Once I'm with, I feel like once I get that fixed and want to have more free time to myself i will probably go back to some of these games and play them and just let you guys know how it was um, i do like doing these type of things you know i like doing 
having a good time and doing these type of videos. Um, but like I said, there's one more. And the last one is SpongeBob. We will talk about that next week. Um, but if you ever played any of these games, if you ever played Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you guys think about it. Tell me if you had a good time. Tell me if you didn't have a good time. Tell me what you think they could have fixed. Actually, before I forget, another thing I like about this game too is that they brought the voice back, voice actors back from their shows. I'm going to go back into that, the voice acting. I like the fact that they bring it back. And the reason why I like that they bring it back a lot is because I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty fun. You know, you get to see actors from the show like SpongeBob and Danny Phantom and from like uh, new shows like TAC. That, those are the voice actors for TAC. My life, you know, my life as a teenage robot, Jenny. I think it's pretty cool. I think that when they do that, like they did that with um Batman, when Batman Arkham Asylum, Kevin Conroy, when he was playing as Batman, Mark Hamill, when he was playing as the Joker. I like those type of things because, you know, when I grow up and when I was watching these shows, those are the voice actors that I know who play as SpongeBob, who plays as all these other characters. So get to seeing that and playing them in the game, I think it's pretty cool. I think when, um, I think it was what? I think THQ, yeah, when THQ made this game, I thought it was pretty cool that they did that. And before we end the show, like I always say, or like we always say, we don't know you, but we love you, and there's a God above that does. I'm Cashew. Peace out, PB Cashewville.